Massive protests against the killing of Marielle Franco blanketed Brazil in recent weeks. Franco was a black, LGBT, anti-police violence activist from the favelas of Rio de Janeiro and a city councillor for the Progressive Socialism and Liberty Party PSOL. She was a vocal opponent to the recent military occupation of Rio's poorest communities. Franco and her driver Anderson Gomez were gunned down on March 14th after she left a meeting of black women organizers. Thousands countrywide have responded with tears, outrage and concern that she was murdered for her vocal opposition to police brutality and the military occupation of Rio. In one of her last tweets, she asked, how many more have to die for this war to end? According to federal prosecutors, the evidence points to a hit by corrupt police officers. The bullets were apparently from police stocks. An early tweet from The Intercept's Glenn Greenwald read, To the surprise of absolutely nobody, the preliminary evidence is establishing links between the police and the assassins who killed Maria Lefranco. The group Torture Never Again has called her murder the first political execution of the military intervention in Rio de Janeiro. The intervention has been underway since mid-February, when President Michel Temer put the army in charge of the city's police force. Crime and violence have indeed been on the rise in Rio de Janeiro since 2015, amid a deep recession that hit the city particularly hard. Rio declared a state of calamity just seven weeks before the 2016 Olympics. The federal government had to step in to bail it out. The city passed major budget cuts and slashed state workers' wages. Teachers and officers went months without being paid. Thousands of Brazilian soldiers have been deployed to Rio in recent years to contain the growing insecurity. But February's intervention was the first time the military was put in charge of a citywide police force since the fall of the military dictatorship in 1985. Temer has also placed military officials in key cabinet positions, raising red flags from international human rights organizations that the military was acquiring too much power. Killings of political figures are common in Brazil. According to an investigation from the Brazilian group Aos Fatos, an average of nine elected politicians were murdered per year between 2007 and 2018. But state-sponsored killings, if this is the case, is another ballgame. Concerning, considering the growing talk of military intervention and the legacy of the two-decade-long dictatorship during which hundreds were disappeared and thousands tortured. Despite the powerful movement demanding justice for Marielle, a disinformation campaign has also been actively seeking to defame her image. Fake news about Marielle has been shared widely across Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp and even repeated by high-profile judges and politicians. The false report stated that she was backed by communists, criminals and drug traffickers. In just a few days, Marielle's party PSOL reported 11,000 denunciations and a website was launched to respond to the misinformation campaign. According to a study from the Federal University of Espiritu Santo, the right-wing group MBL was responsible for a major portion of the distorted and fake news about Marielle Franco. MBL was active in the campaign to overthrow former President Dilma Rousseff in 2016. Meanwhile, the residents of Rio's favelas that Marielle most vehemently defended still face an ongoing military occupation. According to a recent report, killings and theft have risen in comparison with last year, despite the military presence. The neighborhood with the most violence is precisely the location of the most military action. Events have continued in remembrance of Marielle, demanding justice for her murder and for the killing of black and gay individuals across the country. Many hope that this moment serves as a greater catalyst for change ahead of October's elections and the consolidation of a leftist movement in defense of the black, gay and poor communities that Marielle represented. Already her death has rocked the country. As many have commented in recent days, 
If she was killed to silence her, it appears her assassination has done just the opposite, turn her into an international symbol and spark a movement that will be impossible to ignore.